go. Right, well here we are. Well, this is a container full of uh, bull semen, stored frozen in liquid nitrogen. Most important, and uh, liquid nitrogen keeps it frozen at a temperature of 192 below zero. So today I'm looking for a bull called, here he is. Let's see, here's the straws here. This is the straws here. And uh, there's the bull's name on it, Alistair IV of Woodnuke. So I'm going to take two straws with me today, and that's about six to seven million sperm heads in each straw. So what we do first of all, we put it right into the warm water there, and that thaws the semen out. I'm going to put the lid back on. So the semen's in here, in the straw, and now it's thawing out. It'll thaw out quite rapidly within 30 seconds. So once it's thawed out, we just dry the straw off and there's a cork at the bottom end, we'll seal it at the top and the cork will push the sperm into the fallopian tubes of the cow. First of all, we load it up into this, this pipettes here and we just pop the straw in there, take the scissors and we'll cut off the seal and then we put on two cover slips here which will keep the straw back but let the sperm out the end once I press the plunger once I get into the reproductive track of the cow so this is the apparatus here and that will push the sperm in to the heifer so there it is all loaded up ready so now I'll just take a glove and put the glove on, it's all quite clean and covered up and we shall get a little lubrication here to go in the back passage of the cow and we will go and inseminate the heifer. <laughs> and action! We can edit it later! <laughs> okay, right, here we go. Right, well here we are now, and uh, the heifer was pulling last night, she was standing heat last night. So the next day is a great time for insemination, because the eggs don't start to come out of the ovaries until the second day of heat. So what we've got here is the sperm loaded up in the straw, and I'm going to place my hand into the rectum of the heifer, and through a thick membrane I can feel the two copium tubes and the cervix, which lie like a the letter Y, like a catapult, a small catapult in there and I'm going to put this rod through the bottom stem of the cervix, through the bottom passage here and I can feel the, the tube coming in and I've got a hold of the cervix and the floating tubes in my left hand and I can guide the tube in here and just take that thing no. Now, just work it in there, and I've just got it in through the cervix. It's lying at the base of the fallopian tubes now. I'm going to press the plunger and let 8 million sperm heads float away looking for an egg. So, Got another straw here, which I'll use as well. It's a Highland bowl that we're using. And then again, into the bottom passage with the pipette, which is loaded up with the bowl semen. And I've got a hold of the cervix in my left hand. Guided it into the cervix. And it's at the bottom of the floating tubes now. And I'm going to press the plunger again, and away goes another 8 million sperm heads to catch the egg coming down one of the floating tubes. So there we are. And there uh, that's it. Bingo!